Hey, howdy, L Red Boy here. I wanted to talk about the Super Strikers episode that single handedly had a power to change the course of Super Strikers for at least a season and take it down a more compelling route, but ultimately didn't and fumbled it worse than Kaiser Chiefs fumbled losing the league after being in number one for 13 months. The episode in question is the perfect match. Let's get it. The episode starts with an interview of the new talent for Invincible United and four-time consecutive Man of the Match winner, Max Powell. He got his chance to make the starting lineup because Skara got injured. Skara, who is watching the interview from his place, makes it clear that he isn't happy about it, so he pushes the charity that he started on social media. Mega stars with minor injuries. This will be an important point. Back at the interview, the host makes a comment about Shakes being the only player who have won more Man of the Match award, but Max made it clear that he will win more as Shakes watches on from his tablet in the locker room. Now they have been set up properly as rivals. What sets Max apart from Shakes' other rivals is that he has the stamina to run at full tilt for the whole 90 men, and with that being his secret to success, and refuses to share his secret. Back to Shakes, the rest of the team make comments over his obsession to figure out Max's secret. With Twisting Tiger holding the trash that Shakes has fished out of Max's trash can, Shakes tries to play down his fascination and overall obsession with Max, but it is clear that he is really, really it. Klaus suggests that Shakes take to collecting Super League temporary tattoos as opposed to stalking Max. These tattoos come from terrible gum, and the tattoos are. <laughs> Fake funny misprint that are notoriously difficult to remove, with some requiring 20 minutes of scrubbing, leaving visible marks. This will also be noted on the wall. Elsewhere at Invincible United Stadium, Max Power is dusting. Palmentieri, scoring the winning goal and earning his fifth Man of the Match award, going on to equal Shakes' record, then goes on to help Scarra with his awareness campaign in the mega stars with minor injuries, and then Vince tells him to keep his secret even from Scarra. Thus, a little bit of doubt is put on Max's abilities. Meanwhile, at Strikerland, Coach is testing the team to see who will be able to keep up with Max. It is then when El Matador becomes the latest mega star to get a minor injury, and I love the implication that he has named each of his two. <laughs> Poor Theodore, his tiny nail is broken. Get well soon, Theodore. Shakes is the closest match to Max, but not fully, with his stamina stats dropping at the 76th minute. We then get more information about Skyro's campaign. A whopping 24 5 side matches in 24 hours. El Matador decides to go and support the cause, which is very on brand for El Matador, and Shakes has a mini heart-to-heart -heart with Coach about his dad, which comes completely out of offside. The way I describe it is the way it comes up. He opens his locker and then they just look at a picture of his dad. But it convinces him to go to the campaign to learn more about Max and trying to figure out his abilities. Also, these matches are played in a skybox with other Super League players and Dingan is operating the crane that gets them up there and he's not forklift certified. This will be important. Max and Shakes play against each other and Shakes scores with his bicycle quick. And after the match, Shakes gets Max to share his principles of stamina in exchange for bicycle kick tip. Max then wants to head out to save his stamina for the upcoming match, but Skara literally drags him onto the crane. Dingan has an oopsie and almost kills Shakes, Skara, Max, and El Matador, but luckily Skara and El Matador jump off saving their own skin, and Shakes and Max save each other from certain death. They have a little chuckle and have a really long heart to heart while the charity event carries on in the skybox. Shakes keeps his end of the deal and teaches Max the bicycle, suppose. It is match day and Max shows up in a limo with Vince. This is where more seeds of doubt start sprouting their evil, corruptive roots. And we also get some dialogue that got a little chortle off me from El Matador and Skara. Ah, uh, that's not how you do rivalry. Where's the anger, the venom, the sneaky elbow in the ribs? Yeah, no jokes about his hair, no mockery of his pathetic sports car collection. What gives? The match goes on and Shakes and Max are going full force to see who will win it all by a beautiful sequence of passes culminating in a goal from Shakes' bicycle kick. And then when he goes on to celebrate and talk to Max, my fears grow legs and start warning towards me like my nephew when I pull it on Bluey as Max has no memory of his conversation with Shakes about their families. Halftime strikes, Shakes sticks a tattoo from Klaus's collection on Max's arm. Remember the tattoos I talked about? They make a comeback just before Max makes it to the dugout. Shakes is convinced that Max is two people and when Max comes back onto the pitch after halftime with a long sleeve compressed shirt, he is determined 
to pull it off and expose him. Max goes on to equalize, but that does not deter Shakes from trying to rip this thing off. And when he does lift his sleeve, we see the marks that are left from scrubbing off the tattoo. Thus, we think Shakes is raw. Fine, whatever. Shakes just shakes it off, I guess, and goes on to equalize, securing a 2-2 draw for both teams. Then leads Max to the Trooper Strikers locker, then traps him in there, runs back to the field to accept his Man of the Match award, dedicates it to Max Power and gets the crowd to chant Max Power. Work, get him back onto the pitch. Then, with the help of El Matador, they expose the Max Powers as twin. And there we go. The episode with the greatest potential is wasted. Don't get me wrong. It is a good Super Strikers episode, but it could have been so much better. I really, really wanted Max Power to actually be someone that has a leg up against Shakes in some aspect. Shakes basically has very little growth. In earlier seasons, we were shown that he is impatient, but after his one impatient bout, it is completely discarded as a character flaw. If I wrote the episode, I would have kept all the Shakes conspiracy things where he thinks Max is cheating because of Invincible United's record with cheating, but then have it go on that when he tries to expose him, it turns out that Shakes was completely wrong and Max really had amazing stamina. Max comes out, tells everybody that Shakes locked him in the Super Strikers locker room for no reason. Shakes tries to explain himself, but then comes off as sounding jealous that Max is better at stamina control than he is. Or has a bigger stamina pool than him. And then he has ruined what could have been a healthy rivalry against Max Power, where Max does not want to be friends with Shakes anymore and goes on to lead Invincible United to a title run where Shakes is directly involved. Could have also gotten like a match suspension where in an important match against Invincible United, he gets suspended for his behavior with Matt. That leads to Invincible United winning the league. And then the season now has an interesting plot point. If you really, really wanted to keep the max power being a cheater thing, just make them smarter. They were smart enough to outwit every other team. Why not just let them carry them that thing at least to a super league win and then have shakes as expose them rather than just have it show up one episode and then get resolved one episode this is one of my major criticisms with super striker a lot of good ideas are done and completed in one episode i understand that's how the format is set up but it could go a lot better if they're just willing to work with it not for like the whole season some concepts Yes, I understand are only good for one episode, some are good for two, some could be stretched out for the whole season, but some really need time to breathe. Some are just exposed, tossed out. I feel like I'm watching my nephew play with the toy. He'll get tired of it in 10 seconds. It is what it is. This has been El Red Boy. I'll be having some Hori Boss cookies and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> I'm Slim Shady, son, the real Shady Are you all the Slim Shady's adjusting my titties? So please stand